what's up got a new video for today we're finally going to be painting this thing since the last video i blocked the entire cab both the doors and then i reprimed the entire cab and the doors and then i reblocked the entire cab and the doors and then i reblocked the cab and the doors again and after that was finished i seam sealed the entire cab and now basically the cab is ready to be painted the reason it takes so long is because prep work is the most important step in painting a painting anything. If you don't do a good prep job, you're not going to have a good paint job. It just that's how it works. So now I've got a handful of things I need to finish up before I can stick this in the booth and start spraying. So let's get to it. Okay, the reason I taped up the entire interior is because I don't want the overspray from the outside landing on the interior. Even though it's going to be covered up by carpet and all the interior pieces, it'll make for a cleaner paint job. Plus, the paper will prevent dirt from flying out of the crevices on the inside and landing in the paint job on the outside. So that's why I did that. The only thing left to do is to get this thing in the booth, wipe it down, and start spraying. All right, I just laid down a coat of sealer, and now that's flashed, I'm ready to spray some base, and the color I chose is PXJ, which is a metallic black. After a few good coats of color, it's time for clear. After several coats of clear, this thing's finally painted, and I think it looks really good.
All right, now that I'm done spraying the truck, the next thing I need to do is wet sand and polish the entire thing. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because it's gonna take this paint job from looking really good to looking great. <clears throat> the work you do after a paint job is just as important as the prep work in making a paint job look amazing. So that's gonna be it for this one. Stay tuned for the next video. Probably gonna be a while before I put that one out, but I'll see you next time.